we did think we were going to be able to uh, get through the past fiscal year without uh, doing one. Unfortunately, uh, we were notified by our auditors that we did have to have a few budget amendments. We will not be the dead horse uh, from Monday night, but for the benefit of those who were not here during the work session, I will run through these very quickly and, of course, entertain any questions that you may have before we solicit for public comment. I want to, to be very clear uh, as far as the budget amendments are concerned. In the budgeting process, we have a budget that's approved uh, by this body and it goes into effect. But in many cases, at the end of a 12-month period, there are areas uh, that need to be tweaked a little bit. Uh, from a forecasting standpoint, when you're making the next fiscal year's budget, you're really trying to forecast an expense and a revenue about 19 months out, which in some respects is very, very uh, concerning and, and uh, problematic. But uh, we did the best we can. The department had to do the best they can, and uh, and we, you know, create the budget. And, and if it does so happen that we have to have amendments at the end of a fiscal year, that is uh, what takes place. The code requires that we have an advertisement within the legal organ that has taken place, and uh, that we cover those amendments, and the council considers it for an up or down vote. Uh, it was uh, discussed about uh, the unanticipated revenues on Monday night. And I want to be absolutely clear within fines and forfeitures. The originally anticipated amount for fines and forfeitures for fiscal year 15 was $600,000. There is an additional surplus that was realized in fiscal year 15 of $167,530. So the new proposed amount is $767,530. So six hundred thousand was anticipated, and we received that. But one sixty-seven five thirty was not, and that is the amount above and beyond. So just to be clear on that, we had some expense revenue. Or excuse me, expense amendments. After that, thousand uh, dollars for elections from 1500 to 2500 just a little bit more uh, than the Board of Elections allowed for uh, with their previous services provided. Uh, because we had additional fines and forfeitures, there were additional add-ons, which are fees that have to be paid for every dollar in fines that are collected back to the state. And that took the effect of $15,000 for one and $5,000 for another. So $20,000 of the expenditures was uh, fines and forfeitures due to the additional revenue that was received. Which really leaves the only substantive amendment besides the election amendment, streets. And we had more power that we actually used than anticipated. Um, we had budgeted 178,936, 178,936 for streets and we're seeking to adjust that by $7,000. So not all of that was spent in power for street lights, but that is the bottom line for streets. That includes staff to clean up and everything else. But street lights are pretty much the reason why that went over a little bit. So those are the general fund amendments. We did have a couple of proprietary fund amendments. As we'll talk about in the retreat tomorrow, revenues and expenditures within the proprietary fund pretty much broke out the same. So we pretty much unaudited realized the break even for the proprietary fund, which is the water sewer fund last year. But we've got some additional adjustments that need to be realized, some money that needs to be moved uh, from one place to another. So we had a little bit less of an expenditure within water sewer operations, uh, excuse me, within uh, with the administration. So we're taking that and moving it over to water sewer operations. But the reason is electricity. So rising electricity costs provided for that additional. Of course, that runs the lift stations, it runs the spray field, it runs the wastewater treatment facility, the aerated pond, it runs uh, all of those associated infrastructures, including the deep wells. So that's $7,000 in electricity. The last proprietary fund amendment is $11,000 within garbage collection. And we will break this apart and dig into it quite a bit more uh, next uh, at the retreat tomorrow at the community center. But um, what I wanted to basically tell you, this is an $11,000 garbage amendment. 
and it is basically for uh, rising landfill and inert debris costs. The landfill costs were a little above anticipated, and inert debris was marginally above anticipated, but still significant to allow for that amendment. So those are the particular amendments. I'll entertain any questions or comments that you may have. Anyone have questions for the city manager? Okay, anyone wishing to speak against the FY15 budget amendment? Anyone wishing to speak against? Anyone wishing to speak in favor of the FY15 budget amendments? Anyone wishing to speak in favor of? We have no council discussion. I will entertain a motion. Make a motion to approve the amendments to the state about the city manager. I have a motion by Mayor Pro Tem Benjamin. There is a second. Second. Second by Councilman Barfield. All in favor? Aye. All opposed, license. Next on the 